that was just a by the way to get energized <laughs> okay so let's start today's episode on how i got a, a ua driving license on the first round yes i mean i have to now i don't even know how i got the driving license on the first round but i know i really worked hard for it it was very difficult if there's any exam i've studied i really put more effort is the ua driving license because in ua if you fail exam you have to go back until you pass that exam there is no shortcut and then the another thing is it's very expensive it's not just few coins my dear friends it's too expensive so most of the people try to nail it on the first round so if you go for the second round third round that is like buying a piece of land in my country so you just try to avoid that and sometimes it's not avoidable because mistakes do happen you might be really uh, perfect you've done all your classes but just something slightly something happens and you go back to to, to, to your exams so i will take you through on how i passed my exams on the first round what i the, the lessons or the classes that i took until i finished my driving license so there's a few things that you need before you start the driving license course so you need to open a file and opening the file the things that are required are emirates id your passport uh, photo visa copy and you need to do eye tests your eyes needs to be okay before you take the driving uh, license here in the ua so once you have all these documents ready you will have to take them to i have to read this drivers and vehicles licensing department of emirates driving company because here in abu dhabi it's only one driving school it's called emirates driving uh, school so these documents you have to take them there so the next step is to visit the driving school company to book your lessons as for me i did uh, 40 lessons those are like 40 classes and there is a theory there is um, parking there is a, a it's called uh, road assessment and then there is final exam so uh, when I visited uh, the school I was given this handbook this is the first thing you will be given this one you have to go through all this it's a very big book but you will be able to understand UA roads science and safety all this it is a very nice book for starting so you need to really go through understand everything about ua roads this will help you to pass your first theory exams so once you are done with your theory lessons it depends on how many days you want to do it i was surprised when i was there some people were paying for the theory classes and booking exams the same day i was really shocked that i i was like I don't even know anything about the roads in the UAE, so I had to take my time and I didn't book my exams, I just booked my lessons, I attended the lessons and then from there when I was really ready and I had gone through all this, that is when I booked for my exams. So before we continue, for me I took uh, classes as a new driver because of course I had never driven here in the UAE, but in Kenya I had kenyan driving license this one i took it 10 years ago so this one i had to so for the theory classes it was not difficult you just have to go through the handbook understand your roads and uh, once you are ready you can book for your exams so that is what i did and uh, actually passed the exam i passed the theory class that was very easy for me because of course of course i crammed them <laughs> I couldn't imagine failing theory exams. That is, I couldn't imagine that. People failed, actually. I had people in my class who failed theory classes. In fact, I only failed one. It was about, it was 35 questions, and I got 34 out of 35. So I am very smart. Yes, that is how smart I was. 
so after passing theory with flying colors so i had to book for my parking lessons this is where the drama was because this is now practical and at the same time you have to nail this one so i was working in the afternoon so i used to go there in the morning and come back uh, to attend my work it was really not easy because the driving school here in abu dhabi is only one and it's outside the city it's so like two hours by bus and i couldn't manage to go by bus because i needed to reach there finish my classes and then come back to, to prepare for work so the taxi was the only option and taxi was really expensive sometimes i could go with taxi and come back with a bus so it depends with the hours so most of the time i was like you know tired but the good thing is i didn't uh, arrange my classes like every day i used to go once a week or twice a week to be able to understand the handbook i used to go through the book as well so i didn't want to just go for classes uh, for, for classes throughout the week and also the transportation cost my friend it was not easy to just get taxi every day you know yeah so that is what happened so after my parking lessons, I had to book for parking exams and it wasn't easy. There was tension everywhere. Everyone was really uh, worried about this exam. Everyone was, you know, you are prepared, but you know, you're worried like, what if? Anyway, so uh, I finished my uh, parking and believe you me, I passed my parking exam first round. I didn't fail. I was surprised. I was really proud of myself. Like, really, I passed this packet. Then the next level, I'm gonna pass it. You know? So after passing my packing with flying colors again, of course, of course, <laughs> yeah. So I prepared for my road assessment. Now this is practical. You have to look for an instructor to now show you. Uh, the roads now you're going to use the road signs that you learn from the handbook to uh, to use them practically so in this case you have to look for instructor first of all you have to do several road practice for you to be able to pass the exam because if you're not confident on the road then it will be very difficult for the exams so for me i did 15 road uh, assessments uh, with the instructor I used to, I, I think my driving li license training took three months because, you know, I took long to practice and also because I wasn't going there every other, every day. So I used to go like twice, like for example, road practice, I used to do twice a week, at least twice a week uh, for two hours or sometimes one hour, it depends with the instructor and it depends with my work schedule as well. So. I did 15 classes and those 15 classes, oh my god, it was really expensive. Normally people do 8, 7, but for me I went overboard because I was really new and my confidence on the road was really still very bad. By the time I reached 8, I was like, no way, it's better to pay more rather than going to for the exam and then fail and then pay extra extra. So what I did is I did more classes and that is what I can advise uh, anyone who is trying to do a uh, driving license here in the UAE. You better take more classes with the instructor than failing and paying the double once you fail. So for me that is what I did and uh, yeah. So doing uh, road practice it was fun, I really enjoyed, I couldn't even remember I have exam blah blah blah. But the day of the exams, you know, I had never seen a police woman in this country, a very serious police woman. Oh my God. When that time came, you know, everyone was so, so quiet. Everyone was shaking, you know, everyone was just thinking about all this. You were thinking about how much you're going to pay in case you fail this one, you know. It's not even about how am I going to drive in the roads, blah, blah, blah. You're just thinking, how much am I going to pay? Because the most important thing is the money. How much, you know? So if you don't, if you fail this one, think of the amount you're going to pay. So most of the people really were worried, you know, about failing. 
yeah i was among them of course i was worried you know i was like oh my god i've done 15 classes so this one i need to really make sure i really need to make sure but i did very very good training and i was super sure that i was going to pass that was the confidence i had when this policewoman came my confidence was like <sighs> when i saw her you know when she came wearing all this and i'm like <gasps> but i was like <sighs> i remember when i entered uh, uh, the car she greeted me she was very very nice and polite and uh, she greeted me and then i told her please give me one second to just it, that is exactly what I did and she was smiling and I'm like okay she's smiling that's okay all right so I went there and I was praying that I don't get the roundabout exam because that was my problem and I was telling my instructor I hope I don't get this and that is exactly what I got but you know what I nailed it I don't know up to now I don't know how I did that and she was very impressed so there is something I forgot to mention is uh, you have to attend all the classes like for example the parking class that is very serious class you have to attend that if you miss one class because they're the ones who schedule classes uh, for you so if you miss one that means you have to pay for that class that you missed there is no way they would push it ahead there is nothing like that so you will push it ahead but you have to attend that class and you have to pay for that class i remember there was a day i almost missed that class it was i was two minutes late and the security guy told me you know i cannot go because the bus has already left because where there is class you we normally take the bus to the field where we we normally do the classes my friend I ran like crazy. I remember opening that door. Can you imagine missing class because you're late two minutes and the security guy is telling you you cannot go and you're in the compound. Can you go, you come with a taxi, it's expensive, the time, you know, and then you can imagine the amount of money you're going to pay for that one class. I just waited for security to face the other side and say, okay, I opened the door. And I ran like crazy. I remember him following me up, but he couldn't catch me. And then he started calling the other side, you know, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but you know what? I attended that class. I was really, of, uh, I freaked out. But you know what? I attended the class. I didn't pay. So don't ever uh, sit down there just because security has told, told you you're not going to attend the class. And yet you are in the school compound. Just do your best to go because that amount of money, I can't believe I can't imagine paying that amount of money yet I am in school compound yeah they are that strict they are very strict you have to take the class on time yeah I understand so finally after three months I got my license yes Thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for liking. Please continue subscribing. Let's grow together. And I hope to see you on the roads. Yeah. Now I am officially UAE driver.